Woods to water fishing adventures, baby. As the long, warm summer days turn into the early, brisk fall evenings, we reach for our sweatshirts and fireplaces, while the salmon of the Great Lakes have a biological response. The colder and increased water flow sends the salmon up the rivers for their annual spawning run. Fish off. Today. You know, they didn't really fight, you know what I mean? Just kind of sat in front of me in the current. Yeah. How do I say that? Maybe he's not in the mouth. He might be rapping. He's not coming in like he's in the mouth, but it looks like it was.
amounts of mature salmon in these small tributaries gives anglers an opportunity to wrangle these fish on lighter gear from shore. In fact, it was reported in 2011, outdoorsmen spent more than $5 billion on outdoor wildlife activities. And that was just in New York State alone. Coming up, guys. December. It's today, December 13th. December 13th, guys. Look at the rot. Yep, it's starting to rot a little bit, but really fresh fish. Really, really fresh fish. <sighs> Trevor's first coho. My first coho, guys. Thank you guys. Thank you. Sorry man. <laughs> Thank you. 
Got him. Get the get all the hooks out and get them back. <laughs> With the final hurrah. It is amazing how far these salmon can make it upstream and how little of water they need. But in the end, the spawn will be their ultimate demise. After all the salmon's hard work and sacrifice, the trout run up behind them and clean up any remnants of eggs they can find. <laughs> 